Hello my friends and welcome. My name is Debbie Reed. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Kingston, Idaho. Today I am going to show you a card that we are going to make using the Around the Band stamp set. And then I'm also going to be using the potted geraniums for a sentiment. And we're going to be using the birthday. Birthdays are reminders that life should be celebrated. So this is the card I'm going to share with you today. Well, actually, I have several that I've made. So anytime you have a busy paper, it's always nice if you can take your busy paper and just kind of use it in small little sections. So this is one of the cards I made using Gorgeous Grape. Then I did the same layout doing the Calypso Coral and Evening Evergreen. Then I did it again with the Gorgeous Grape and used the Off-White Overlay. This is another one I did using a busy paper. This was the first one I did, so it was kind of a, you know, a trial and error card. Today I'm going to show you how to make that card using the Highland Heather uh, cardstock. And we're using very vanilla and basic black. So the very first thing we're going to do is take a three and three quarters I will have the sizes in the link below because my brain just went dead. I don't remember what size. I think it was three and three quarters by five, but I will write it in the link below. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of your designer series paper and you're gonna cut it. And then you're going to use the die. Let me grab the die real quick. You're gonna use this little die and you're gonna just line it up on your paper and then you're gonna run it through your Big Shot machine and you're gonna get this scallop. So then after you get the scallop, you're going to lay this down and you're gonna use the stamp. This is the big stamp. And I'm going to ink this up in Gorgeous Grape. And you're going to come in with this and find a sweet spot here, like right there, and you're gonna stamp this. I'm gonna get this paper out of the way because I didn't glue it down yet. So then you're going to have that. Okay, once you have that stamped, you're gonna go in with your little die and you're gonna line this up like that and you're gonna run it through your Big Shot. And when you do that, then you're gonna end up with this, okay? So now we can glue our paper down. And let me grab this in here. So we're gonna glue the paper to this piece. And I noticed using my other glue, I have a glue bottle that I like better but it sure makes a loud noise on video and I didn't like that at all. And my goodness, did that come out oozy oozy. Okay, so then I'm gonna glue this to this off-white piece. And I am going to have to wipe my hands because I am full of glue. Okay, one second. Okay, then you're going to take this and you're going to mat this on black. After you've matted it on your black, you're going to come in with your stamp and you're going to kind of have a rough idea where you're gonna stamp. I am inking in Versamark. Versamark is just that sticky, where it, it makes a, a, an impression or you can um, emboss. So you would ink this, you would put this on your paper, then you would have that Versamark image, then you would take your powder and you would sprinkle the powder on there, then you would shake off the excess and heat set it. When you heat set it, you're gonna end up with that. So then we're going to now take this piece that we have cut and we're gonna glue this onto this card base. The magic of a video, you don't, you know, this will take you a little bit longer than the video because I'm just doing it so you don't have to sit and watch all of the little silly stuff. 
So you're gonna put this on here and then you end up with that. And then I'm going to take this piece and put it on my Highland Heather. And this set lends well to any kind of busy paper you can do you can change this with even just with this paper you can do so many color combinations and make a very large set of of cards and then there was somebody i wish i would have remembered the name there was somebody that did something with this paper and oh my gosh now i want more paper today is the last day of celebration so this is the day to get this if you are liking this paper. And like I said, busy paper, when you look at it, it's like, uh, overwhelming. Um, I'm gonna show you a trick that I do. I'm kind of all over the place today, aren't I? When I put rhinestones down on my card, I take a piece of my window sheet, and I've already placed this. But what I do is I have an idea of where I'm gonna place things, and then I can actually take off my gem and place it exactly where I want it on my card. So this is just kind of my little tip for the day so that you don't have to put your rhinestones down and then be like, oh, why did I put that there? So that's just my little tip to show you how to do placements for the rhinestones. And for the inside of the card, let me see if I finished this. I just took another piece of the paper strip added my very vanilla and added it to the inside of the card. I didn't have anything to really put inside the card yet. So I just wanna show you how different all of these cards look using the same paper and just changing up the color combinations. So this one's Gorgeous Grape Highland Heather. This one's on Off-White. But this, this really can be a fun set if you wanna create something for somebody as a giveaway or just to give to somebody. I think these really are kind of pretty. Hope you like it. Um, if you like the paper, today's the last day of celebration, so this is the last day you can get it. And go make something uniquely yours. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like this. If you do, give it a thumbs up, and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.